So what we're going to do is a class, we're going to work through all the different areas of the body. We're going to start up with a kind of dynamic warm-up, then go into some core work. We're then going to do some leg work, focusing on the calf muscles and the quads, then a bit of a glute burn. Then after that, we'll just do a little bit of upper body and then go into a final burn blast session before doing our cool down. Is everybody all good to go? Can you give me a thumbs up if you can all hear me? Cool. So if we all get ready with our playlist, I'm going to play my from over here and we'll get going. So I'm going to play it from just off screen. So if we all get ready to hover over play and press in one, two, three, go. So we're just going to come to the top of our mat here and just do a gentle roll down and come into our tabletop position. From here, we're going to do just a bit of a flow through the spine. So we're going to move back into our child pose. And then when we're here, coming up and forward, we're then going to sink into our spine with our calf and up. Just mobilizing the spine. And again, moving backwards and down. And up and forward. Then sinking that side and in. And again, moving back, stretching out. If there's any points of niggling or any extra tension, just feel free to move through any of those. And stretching up and in. And then again, sitting back on my heels. And we move back forward into our tabletop, tuck our toes underneath, and go into a really easy, gentle downward dog. Not much pushing here, just to mobilize, maybe walking through our feet. We're then going to take our right leg up towards the outside of the mat. And when we're here, we're just going to do a few circles, mobilizing the hip joints. Then the other way, move backwards, just warming up that hip joint. Great. Bring back up to our downward dog. Then the other leg, bringing that left leg out. And again, five hip circles. Just really mobilizing and waking up that hip joint and the other way. That's great. From here, we're going to put our weight onto our left foot and bring our right foot to join and go into a deep squat. Now, if this, is, if this is too much for you, that's no problem. Just bring it as far as you can and just rock back and forward. So we're waking up the toe joint and the Achilles and the heel. If you're in a deep squat, just keep breathing and think about relaxing that pelvis and lower spine. So from here, we're going to stand up. I'm just going to move back a bit. You can stay where you are on the mat so that you can see me. And we're just going to move round with our hips. This is called scraping the barrel. So we want to warm up our hip joint. And then the other way, if there's any niggles anywhere, feel like you can go around it. Great. So we feel a bit warmer here. We want to stand at the back of your mat and seat here, placing our feet together. Now what I want you to do is reach behind you as if you're picking something off a shelf from behind, just to quickly warm up the spine. 
hips. We're going to call it to try and keep our toes and our hips facing forward. Great. Then for our last thing, we're just going to move towards the top of the mat. And we're just going to do some warming up by crawling out into our plank and then moving backwards up the spine. Let's do that one more time. And just wait here in our tabletop position. I'm just going to quickly let somebody else in. There we go. So while we're in our tabletop position here, we're going to really switch on our core. So to do this, I want you to imagine that you're pulling your hands and your knees together and using that to engage the core muscles. So now we're here, really engaged. I want you to move slightly forward and moving back. Moving forward and moving back. You should really feel here the core switching on and if you're starting to shake it means you're doing it right. Okay, let's bring it back into the middle. Keeping that core engaged again, bringing the hands in. I feel like you're pushing the knees together. We're going to lift those knees just an inch off the floor and hold it here. Just feeling everything switch on from the glute all the way up from the pelvic floor muscles and up the front of the stomach. Okay, let's bring that down, our knees. Let's raise up, again those knees, and this time what we're going to do is two small crawls forward, then two small crawls backward. If this is too much for you, just go back to the knees and inch off the floor. So if you keep going, go ahead. Great. Now, let's just take a rest there for a moment. We're now going to work into our plank. So, we're going to start in our high plank with our hands under our shoulders and then we're going to really focus on tucking that tailbone in. Now that we're here, I just want us all to rock forward. And then rocking back, pushing through the heel. Rocking forward, pushing back through the heel. If you can manage to stay here, if you're struggling, again, work back with the feet back on the floor, pushing those hands and knees in together. Great. So, we're going to do some leg lifts here. If you've got any pain in the wrist, feel free to move to on our elbows. Let's go back into our plank. Hold it there nice and strong. So what we're going to do is lift our legs. And lift. And lift. And lift. Keep going, great. If this is too much, bring the knee the knees down and just lift up the leg. Fantastic. Let's take a bit of a rest here. Now we're going to move back out into plank and we're going to do some twists. So to do this, we're going to twist over onto our left. Bring out our foot and give a touch on the shin. Come back here. And again. If this is too much, everyone keep going. But if you want to just do taking side plank and coming back down again, that's absolutely fine.
fantastic, everybody. Let's just take a small stretch out of here, just for the stomach muscles. And we're going to get up and be standing up. Again, I'm going to move here so that you can see the whole of my body. So now we're going to do some legs. Work out, we're going to start with just switching everything on, then going to our calf and going to our quad. So to start, let's raise up our legs. And we can put our arms wherever we want, wherever is comfortable. And I just want you to focus on switching on that glute, switching on that thigh muscle, so that we can turn to the side. And bring that back in. And now can we turn to the other side? Great. And then can we lift up the other leg? Fantastic. And switch this way. Bring it back. And the other side. And hold here. And place the leg down. So now we're just going to do some calf raises. So we want our feet parallel and facing forward. And we're just going to rise up and down. Rising up and down. You just keep doing that. I'm just going to let some more people in. So we're rising up and down. Now, when we're up here, can we do some pauses? If you want to stand with your hand against the wall, that's absolutely fine. Keep pulsing. It'll start to burn soon, and I know, but I know that you can get through it. So now, can we do two down and two up? I can't, I'll be the one. Two, down, down. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down to give a bit of a hold here at the end. Keep going. I know it hurts. Hold, 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 and let go. Well done, everyone. That's a bit of a calf and give anything a bit of a shake out that you need to. So now we're going to work on our lunges. We're going to put one foot in front and one foot behind. Just make sure you're in a nice position where you can go up and down easily. And we're going to do a lot of work on one leg before we switch onto the other leg. So let's go down and up and down and up, and down, and up. Keep going. Wonderful. Now let's see if we can do eight pulses here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. Now here, okay, let's see if we can go down for two, up for two. Wonderful. Down. Now, we're going to stay bent on this front leg and just bring in our leg. If this is getting too hard, go back to normal lunges. I know it's a long time on one leg. Our last bird, I promise. We're going to bend forward over the front leg and slide the leg in and out. We can do this. One last final bird.
Wonderful. Take a rest. Lift off that leg. Shake it out. Everything that you need to do. How's everyone feeling? Is that a lot? <laughs> Sorry. Is it all good? Great. So, shake it out. We're going to do that all on the left leg, and I know you can do it. I find that the second side is often be easier because you know how much is coming. Ready? Get into position. So let's go down for the left. And again. Really concentrating on getting that glute and quad working. Now can we let's see if we can do our pulses. So we have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now let's see if we can go down for one, two, and up, up. This is too much, just go back to the original lunge. Great. Keep that bend in that front leg. And we're going to come in. We bend and bend. Keep going. Let's do our final burn. And going across and sliding out. That weight over that front leg. I know it hurts, but I know you can do it. Last push. That's great. Ooh, stand up and give it a shake out. If you just want to do a quick um, stretch out wherever you are and come down into a tabletop position. I'm going to face forwards for you guys now because it'll be easier for you to see me. We're going to do a quick glute burn. It's going to consist of fire hydrants. So for this, we're lifting our leg up at a 90 degree angle to the side and some kicks. So, we all ready? Two, three, four, and up, and lift, lift, lift. Now get that leg out. Can we do eight kicks? Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other side. Two, up, two, great, really feeling that glue, now lift the leg and kick, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, wonderful, let's do that on the other side. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We're nearly through. And eight kicks. Two, three, four, five, six. Come on, you can do it. Seven, eight. And again on the next side. Promise this is the last time. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, and lift. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow. Can we do one more challenge? Can we do eight kicks 
on each side. Let's go for it. Lift, and up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. Have a bit of a rest, and up, let's do it again. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow. Let's do it. How is everyone? <laughs> Take a stretch out in any way that you want. I'll come up into a really gentle downward dog. How's everyone? Matt? Okay. <laughs> it won't let me see everyone, so I'm happy to see a new computer. So we're going to do a bit of body work now. So we're going to come down on our front and lift our torso is about an inch off the floor. We're going to bring our arms in front of us on the back of it. And we're going to just do four arm raises here. And then to the side. Four to the front. And four to the back. And to the front. And to the side. Now from here, I want you to bend these elbows and bring the arms up and down to our side. So squeezing in, really using the shoulder blades and bringing it back down. In and down. In and down. Now, keeping the elbows on the floor, we're going to just raise the forearms. This one hurts. It doesn't matter how far, even if you can skip, lift the hands up and in. That's absolutely fine. The most important thing is we're giving it a go. Last thing here, I promise, <laughs> on our break, is bringing our arms in front. If it's available for you to raise a bit off the ground, then go for it. If holding it here is enough, that's fine, but what I want us to do is bring our hands into the fist and then pull down as if we're doing a pull up. This is a fantastic exercise if you want to get your pull-up stronger or want to even do a pull-up. We're going to really focus on making the movement come from our lap. I just keep showing you. So we really want to bring that shoulder blade in and pulling down. Fantastic. Take a bit of a rest and a breathe. We're going to go on to our last burn section before we have a bit of a cool down. Now what we're going to do here is called AMRAP. So it's as many rounds as possible. I'm going to set a bit of a routine and you can go at your own speed, do it however you want, but just do as much as you possibly can in the next four minutes. If you don't even want to do this, it doesn't matter, just move for the next four minutes. So our routine is going to be 20 jumping jacks. We're going to have five burpees. Then after that, 20 mountain climbers. And then five press-ups. They can be up or down, but just with the elbows in. Okay? Got that? Again, you do it however you want. Just push as hard as you can. Ready? Let's go. We have one. If this is too much, too high impact, just step out. That's absolutely fine. Great. Let's go with that one you. You might be more ahead than me because you're going super fast. If we don't want to do high impact here, that's absolutely fine. We can do it like this. And I'm not too glad. Into practice.
fantastic back with our jumping jacks. We're gonna come and have a look at how everyone's doing. Awesome! <laughs> Go for it! <laughs> if you don't feel like doing it, just rock out and do what you want. Let's see who can get the rest. Again, remember any modifications that you want to do. Amazing, great work guys. find any black metal screaming or grimacing helps with this as you're going along. We're nearly there. Push to the end. Let's have a look. Oh, I see you rocking out. Awesome. Good work, everyone. I forgot where I was up to. <laughs> Let's go over the top. Getting towards the end. Breathing deep. You've got it. That last log. Keep going, let's have a look. Those last bits. Five. And take a breath. Well done, everyone. I promise that's the last bit. <laughs> so if everyone wants to come to the top of our mat. Okay. And just take some breaths. Maybe put your hands on the tummy on the diaphragm. And we'll just do some really deep belly breaths. So in through the nose. And out through the mouth. Okay, from here, we're just going to put a nice generous bend into our leg and roll down, folding over, bringing the ribs into contact with the thighs. And if it's available to you, you can straighten up the knees here, keeping the weight forwards and making sure those ribs are touching the thighs. So what we're going to do here is really gently walk our hands out into a downward facing dog. You can take this as easy or as hardcore as you would. If there's any areas that have any tightness, just focus in and to those. Now looking forward, we're going to bring through our left leg and place the right knee on the floor, bringing up our hands over side. Here we want to be really careful that we're not extending our knee over that foot, that we're right, bending at a right angle, and we're not sticking the bum out, we're tucking that bum under, getting a stretch through the thigh. Then we're going to bring down our left hand, and go up and over, doing a nice,
stretch down that side. Bringing that back up, placing our hands either side, tucking our toe under and lifting up the knee. We're then just going to bring up our leg and stretch out that calf muscle. If you want to bend the front leg, if you want to come up, that's absolutely fine. So whatever is best for you to stretch out that calf. We did a lot of work on the calf muscles. Bringing back down our hands, either side of the leg, into our deep lunge. Then we're going to tuck under our leg, bringing it in and bringing both of our sit bones onto the floor. Sitting up nice and tall here. We're going to place our arm on and take an easy twist. No pushing or pulling here. We've just done all the hard work. This is to stretch everything out. That's great. Coming back in. Legs here, either side, and then slowly coming down. We're going to bring our knees in, planted in. We're going to take up that left foot and cross it over. Spreading our hands if this is available to you through that gap and giving a big stretch to the glute. Taking it anywhere you want. If you want to pull it in, move it to the side, wherever is best for you. Placing that leg back down, taking our arms out to the side. We're just going to tip that knee over and bring the left foot to the floor. If we want a bit more stretch, we're just going to push that top knee out. Letting any tightness just ease its way out of your body. Okay, bring that knee back up and we're going to hug our knees in. Give the back a massage anywhere that you want. When we're ready, we're going to do a bit of a rock. And do a final rock back up into seated. Going back over into our tabletop position and back up into our downward dog. Again, keep this easy or as deep as you want it. And we're going to do all our stretches again, bringing the right leg through, placing the left knee on the floor and bringing up both arms either side. Again, really trying to concentrate on the fact that we're not pushing over or hanging on our joints. We're tucking that bum under and we're being active. We're then gonna bring down that right arm and stretch out. Breathe deeply. Bring your arms down. Either side, raising up that knee. And we're just going to bring that foot to wherever it's comfortable for us to stretch out that calf, whether it's forwards, whether it's bending the front leg, where we need to move around, but just stretch out that back calf. Great, coming back down into our low lunge. We're going to bring our leg in for a twist. Getting the sit bones on the floor. Just a gentle, easy twist round to the back. Let go. Opening our leg. And then rolling down. Engaging our tummy muscles. Great. Bring our knees in, we're going to put our ankle over and if it's available to you, spreading through that hook gap there. 
taking this however you need to stretch out that glute muscle. Breathing deeply, placing that leg down, opening our arms and tipping over, planting that right foot on the floor. Ooh. Keeping our shoulders down on the floor. If we want a bit more, pushing that top leg away. Try and breathe into that area. Our last thing, hook our legs together and go up into a happy baby. We're going to bring our legs together, do some rocking backwards, forwards. And when you're ready, pull up but over our knees back into that tabletop position and then just go back into our child's pose. Now this is our final posture of the day. So breathe into that as, however you want. Relax down. And when you're ready, curl back up to kneeling. So that was Zach Metal Fern. Thank you very much for joining in with me and I hope to see you again. I've been Borgold.